The Butterflies in Room 6. Butterflies in Room 6. Sometimes the children see painted lady butterflies in the school garden. The children in Room 6 are learning about butterflies. Their teacher has brought butterfly eggs to school. In about four weeks, the tiny eggs will become beautiful painted lady butterflies. How does this happen? The children will watch and find out. The first stage of the butterfly life is an egg. A painted lady egg looks like a grain of blue salt. It's very tiny. A larva or caterpillar is the second stage of a butterfly life. So egg, larva, car or caterpillar, and then it becomes the third stage of a butterfly life is a pupa. The butterfly pupa is covered by a thin shell called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the pupa changes into a butterfly. This process takes a, while, a little while. So the shell itself is called the chrysalis. Inside the caterpillar changing into a butterfly, what's happening inside, that is called a pupa. The last stage of butterfly life cycle is an adult butterfly. The teacher puts the butterfly eggs into a large plastic box. Inside the eggs, caterpillars are growing. The children add some caterpillar food. After the eggs hatch, the caterpillars will crawl to the food and start eating. Okay, so there's the eggs, there's the food. See how they're using their magnifying glasses to watch it grow. By the next day, the eggs are hatching. The caterpillars crawl out. They look like tiny dark specks. Each one is smaller than a seed. The caterpillars eat and eat. Remember, just like the very hungry caterpillar, they eat, eat, eat. The children spread more food on the bottom of the box. When the, when the caterpillar grows too big for its skin, the skin splits and falls off and a new skin is underneath. After about a week, the caterpillars are Getting longer, the teacher gently picks up each caterpillar with a paintbrush and puts it into a cup. The small holes in the top lid let in air. The caterpillars keep eating and growing. Now the caterpillars are about two weeks old. One by one, they crawl to the top of the cup and make a patch of sticky silk on the paper towel. The caterpillar attaches its bottom end to the silk and curls up kind of like a letter J. See that like a letter J? The next day, the caterpillar sheds its skin for the last time. It twists and shakes until the skin pops off. The caterpillar is now a pupa. It is covered by a soft chrysalis. So now they're all hanging down. Okay, the outside part is called the chrysalis. What's happening inside is called the pupa. In a day or so, the chrysalis become hard. Miss, the teacher moves them to a cage. The chrysalis is hanged down just as they would from a leaf or a branch. Just inside each chrysalis, the pupa is transforming, changing into a butterfly. There's the skin. Here's the outside chrysalis and inside is the pupa. When, the butter, when will the butterflies come out? The children watch and wait. Every day they check the chrysalis. Seven days go by, no butterflies yet. On the eighth morning of the chrysalis is empty and a beautiful butterfly is hanging on to the net. The butterflies are coming. Okay, watch them. So this is the chrysalis. Now it's not a pupa anymore. Now what's coming out is the butterfly. And there the butterflies are flying around. One by one, the butterflies come out of their chrysalis. Soon, the net is full of butterflies. The children cut up oranges and put them into the net. The butterflies sip on the juice. The sugar gives them energy. 
The butterflies fly around their wings and fly inside the net. When they land, they hang onto the netting with their feet. The children wonder which butterflies are boys and which are girls. Boys and girls look almost the same. Usually the girls are a little bit bigger. The children look closely at the butterflies. They see that a butterfly body is divided into three parts. The head, the abdomen, and the thorax. So the head, the chest, and the bottom. And then it has the back wings and the front wings. The butterflies are now almost a week old. It is time to let them go. It is a warm day and not too windy. The children bring the butterflies outside. Their teacher reaches into the net and waits for a butterfly to crawl on her hand. The teacher brings the butterflies out of the net. The children stand still and hold out their hands. The teacher lets a butterfly crawl from her hand to theirs. At first, the butterfly sits quietly. Then it flaps its wings and flies away. Each child gets a turn to hold a butterfly. The butterfly hardly weighs anything at all. One by one, the butterflies come out of the net. One by one, they fly away. Some butterflies land on the flowers. Some fly up to the trees. Some fly over the fence and into the neighborhood. Goodbye, butterflies. For the next few weeks, the butterflies will feed on the flowers and find, find friends and lay more eggs. When those eggs hatch, the caterpillars will grow and make new butterflies. Perhaps in a month or so, the children in room six will find more painted ladies spreading their wings and sipping sweet nectar in the school garden. All right. Great story, guys. So enjoy that story and enjoy the very hungry caterpillar and then work on making your butterfly art creation for me, okay? And remember to send me those pictures so I can see all the great work you're doing, okay? Love you. Bye.